My primary focus this week, uh, thumbs up this week, is for Obi. Because Obi has really, you know, he, even last year preseason that game against Detroit, you saw the flashes, but obviously he didn't, he couldn't put it all together over the course of the year. But I think what we saw in the summer league, moving into now. Um, it's slowing down for him. You could see that the game is slowing down for him. And just the confidence. The, the confidence that he's showing out there is, is on full display. So I think Obi's going to be a big piece of of, uh, of why that bench unit is going to be even more potent this season, this regular season. Because last night, another 13, eight, eight rebounds for him in the starting rotation. Played good defense. You know, Obi was solid defensively for us. Splashed a couple of threes and Fournier found him for the backdoor alley oop, which was popping too. So Obi's definitely getting uh, getting some some good run in the, these first two games. You mentioned Obi. Just your thoughts on the extended minutes that he got his production? Re really good. Like he's worked extremely hard uh, in and not just the offensive plays. I thought he had some really good defensive plays, and that's where. You know, we talked about his offensive improvement, which it has improved, but the defensive end, he's gotten better, and that's important for us. And when he's on the floor, the team functions well. He, he moves the ball side to side probably as well as anyone on our team. Listen, I think, again, Tibbs is not someone that just gives this much praise on a player, not only saying positive things about Obi's play, but – identifying and pointing out the defensive side of the, mm -hmm, uh, of mm -hmm. the basketball court. You know, in the past, we haven't heard those things from Tibbs. If, in fact, you know, we've heard a lot of Tibbs saying that that's where he needs to improve. So Tibbs saying that tells you that, uh, you know, aside from us on the outside evaluating it on TV, he's done it in practice and he's doing it. He's showing it to the coaching staff. He's, he's still athletic. He still, you know, jumps out of you on TV. But he's more, he's slightly more controlled. Yeah, yeah. Which means he's under control. that the game is starting to slow down for him. And now he's starting to understand basketball. And for the people saying that, what does, what does that mean? What, what it means is you're starting to understand where you need to be on the yeah, court. Right, right. What's your assignment? What's your rotation? Where the pass should go first? Where you should go after you pass the ball? Mm -hmm. What type of screens you should set? When you should set it? Like all these things are starting to fall into place for him. Um, and, you know, he, Tibbs had mentioned, like, I understand he's a rookie and I understand, you know, you guys are saying he's 24, so I guess he should be an all-star already, but he's still a rookie. You know, it's the same yeah. thing you go to a job. It don't matter how old are you. You could be 40 years old going to a new job. You still have to adapt to that company's, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, protocols and environment. So him being an older rookie, yes, the expectations are higher, but that doesn't mean that the process of being a rookie, being a sophomore, you know, going into your third year, it doesn't mean that that changes. You still have to go through it, and it's still an adjustment and transitional period. And he knows, just like everybody else, just like Kev knows, uh, the key to his, you know, uh, length and minutes in the room, he's got to play defense. He's got to play defense. And that, that'll be the key if, if we ever see that OB-Julius combo, if we ever need it. You know, not saying we need it because obviously, we, you know, we, we have uh, a lot of talent at the five right now, a lot of defensive talent at the five right now. But if we ever needed to go to that, the way to it is going to be him being able to to, you know, defend, protect the rim, handle his rotations properly. And, and I think, you know, he, he's, he's on the right track.